Hello guys, and uh, welcome to this special channel update video. Been a while since I've done one of these, one of these, uh, one of these videos. And um, before I say anything else, thank you. Yes, thank you for uh, no, thank you for 200 subscribers. Doesn't really make uh, no, that doesn't really cut it. Thank you for your support. Seriously, that, in the end, is uh, what motivates me to to make these videos. So, um, I guess whether or not uh, my subscriber count goes up or down, I guess it uh, just depends on uh, whether or not I keep up the good work that I've... I guess that I've been doing. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's... Uh, leave that to you guys. Uh, to determine or not. Um, I mean, I've got to be doing something right, yeah? <laughs> but uh, anyways, I figured what I might as well uh, cover this episode, fill you guys in on, is uh, future plans for one, uh, the third season of UHC is uh, scheduled for June 11th. So, uh, videos won't be starting by then. Uh, they'll probably start coming out uh, the following week. So, June 18th, starting at 1. Uh, 1 in the afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, looking forward to that. Chances are, we're going to be doing it in a snapshot of 1.10. So, that should be interesting. Uh, it might not be too different compared to what we've already done before. Or what we've already experienced in 1.9. But, uh, that's, that's just, uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, having tried out the latest snapshots, there was really not all that much different. Aside from the, uh, the new mobs and the new blocks. But, uh, besides that... Uh, let me, uh, shed some more detail... On Terra Firma Craft 2, or Terra Firma Craft Season 2, I've been gradually working on updating the mod pack, uh, getting it to work smoothly, uh, primarily to just uh, try my best to give this season, this upcoming season, a, a different feel from the first season, uh, which is going to include. <laughs> Uh, my clothes up. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's going to include um, the addition of the shaders mod. So, something similar to this. The Silda shaders. Uh, no cell shading, though. Uh, we don't have that option. But, uh, aside from shaders, uh, the uh, couple of add-ons, a few add-ons, actually, specifically for Terra Firma Craft, uh, the seller's add-on, which has to do with uh, storing food for long periods of time. So that'll give us a, a unique project to do that uh, this season. Also, the automated bellows mod, which sh should help out with metalworking. And the, uh, the Terramisk add-on mod, I think. <laughs> I think it uh, adds... Uh, the special tallow candles, which uh, I think never go out, actually. So unlike Terra Firma Craft torches, uh, which do go out. Oh, also besides that, uh, something that'll actually be really helpful uh, is the Wayla mod. Wayla? Is it Wayla? Is it pronounced Wayla? Or Wayla? 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 <laughs> okay, uh, let me never say that again. Um, <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty helpful. I say that because. Uh, it shows you how long it'll take before a pottery... Uh, no. Sorry, I was about to mention one of the uh, uh, one of the features. I think the automated bellows mod adds. And uh, what? Uh, how long, anyways, a pitkin will take before it finishes. Also, how long a torch has before it burns out. And... Quite a few other things that we'll, uh, we'll find out along the way. Uh, this upcoming season. So, 
I guess that aside, uh, another series that I mentioned uh, in one of my episodes, recent episodes of Super Hostile Online, episode 16 specifically, uh, a Metroid Prime series. Which, if you don't know what Metroid Prime is, shame on you! <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's only one of the greatest first-person adventures of all time. Uh, which I'd like to share with you guys. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, yeah, the only thing I have to do first is make sure whether or not it works well alongside uh, screen, fro screen flow. I uh, want to make sure I don't have frame rate issues. Well, I kind of already do, even without screen flow running. But I have to see if whether or not I could try to fix that, to try to, try to smooth it out. But, um, anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. I know I say that a lot, but I, I really mean it. I really hope that, anyway. Um, <laughs> What else? Oh, yes. Um, with the Nintendo NX coming out next year, or scheduled to anyways. We'll see if they, whether or not they delay that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I've been just had this urge to, uh, to make these uh, special Mario Kart 9 prediction videos. Specifically about what tracks they're going to bring back for the, uh, the Retro Grand Prix that they've, uh, they've had in... At least the last four games, starting with Mar uh, Mario Kart DS. So, I expect one of those in the near future. I already had a list of, uh, I think, my first prediction as to what it could be. And, anyways, besides that, um,. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, let me guys know if you have any ideas for potential single-player uh, maps to do, like shorter maps, maps that may take like maybe uh maybe two hours at least uh, to finish, or maybe more, uh, because already now on Captive Minecraft three, so unless Captive Minecraft four isn't out by the time I finish. Um, not entirely sure what I'll do single player wi single player wise. Uh, besides Terra Firma Craft season two. So I guess now then out of the way. Uh, I guess that's just about it. Uh, again, thank you guys for the support. It does. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, that's why I. So it really gives me the motivation to to make the make these videos in the first place. And uh, I will see you next time in uh, whatever video I come out with uh, next after this one. <laughs> Awfully specific. Anyways, see you guys next time.